fingers crossed, you guys. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh, I got a bad. Oh my gosh, Google, please give me a good liner. Whoa. Oh, really? No. Hi guys, I'm Mar, and today Google is gonna be helping me pick out my makeup. This did not go as planned at all. I thought it was gonna be a completely different experience, but it was actually really interesting. I feel like I would like to do this again because it turned out really fun. I tried out some new different products that I probably would not have picked up, so it was actually a really, really cool experience. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Don't forget to also tap that little notification bell to join Club Mar. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so you definitely won't be subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the new video awesomeness but yeah, you guys this was a really fun experience that i want to share it with you guys so let's get started oh wait no before we get started i want to tell you guys in this video i basically just googled whatever i was going to put on my face and whatever products came up i put it on but i thought it would be so wasteful for me to actually go and buy products just for this because i have a ton of makeup so if one product didn't show up i used the next product that came up because i figure if it's not like the first one i will probably have the second one and that's what ended up happening anyway so i just want you guys to kind of know what was going on in the video but I think it turned out really well and really fine and I did have a lot of the products and I also got suggestions of products that I definitely need to buy because I think Google is really helpful who would have thought anyway yeah guys let's get started all right you guys so I already primed my face I kind of forgot we were doing this but let me type in foundation I'm nervous I hope whatever pops up is good for my really dry skin Ooh, fit me matte and poreless that's not really good for my skin. Fit me matte and poreless. I feel like I don't have any of those here because I just got rid of them because they're so bad for my dry skin. Let me check. Let me do a little a quick search. I don't have matte and poreless, but I do have dewy and smooth, which is really the one that's really good for dry skin. So that's what I'm gonna use. I only have this shade. I pretty much only have one. So I hope this is so good for me. This 230 natural bluff. Oh my God, there's like some red glitter on it. What happened to this? I don't even remember when I got this. I kind of think this foundation must be expired by now. Oh no. Okay, but we're doing good. This was literally the first thing that popped up and I did have, I told you guys, I was like, I know there's a lot of makeup in this house. Although I think it was empty. <laughs> There we go, you just kind of have to work it in. I wish this had a pump applicator, that will make it a lot better. Okay, this seems a bit dark, although not really. It actually feels like it's my shade. Yeah, it'll work. It will do, it will do you guys. I really like this Fit Me foundation, it's so good, especially the dewy and smooth for very dry skin. It just gives you coverage, but it doesn't dry you out. This formula kind of reminds me a bit of um, Born This Way by Too Faced, just because it's like really just kind of glides on. All right, so there we go. I'm happy with this. I feel like I would use a pretty full coverage concealer to follow this. So hopefully Google knows exactly what I'm thinking. Now I'm gonna go in for fingers crossed, you guys. Ooh, again, the Maybelline H Rewind. I feel like Maybelline and Google have something going on right now because they're like bam, 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 bam. All right, I have a bunch of H Rewind concealers. So let's see which one will work for me. Okay, here we go. I kind of think what's popping up right now is just like Maybelline has Google Ads and that's why so much Maybelline is coming up. So if for the next one Maybelline comes up, we're gonna have to do something because then clearly Google is just being controlled by Maybelline, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing for me right now because I really like Maybelline. This H Wine concealer is really good. I'm just really, <laughs> maybe I went overboard with this. I also added a darker shade right here because I kind of like my concealer to transition. I like a really light shade and also one that's just like a transition shade into my foundation. I don't know. Does that make any sense? Whoa, I just realized my lips are so dry. I should probably look up lip balm too. Okay, let's do this as a test. If baby lips or something like that comes up, then no, Maybelline's gotta go. Well, I don't even know what came up. It just says Ulta Beauty. Let me see. What if I go on shopping? Huh. Okay. Sarah B. I actually don't have that one. I don't have any of these lip balms. I have, I have Carmex and EOS. Baby lips is right there. All right. So next we need some set setting powder. Powder. I can't type. No. See? Maybelline again? Okay. I'm just going to go on shopping. Um... Ooh, this cover effects one, I've heard it's so good, but I don't have it. I actually have to buy $10. Oh, that's the mini one. All right. Um, Laura Mercier. Oh, that one I have. 
Okay, Laura Mercier, Kat Von D. Okay, so let's do it in the order it came up. Becca Hydromist Set and Refresh. I don't have that one. Cover Effects, don't have it, but really want to try it. Laura Mercier, I have. I wear it all the time, so let's just go for that one. I feel like I really need to invest in my setting powders because I didn't have the top two options that Google recommended. That's bad. I've just been using this Laura Mercier one for years and it's really worked for me. So I just, I haven't really changed it out. So maybe I need to really try new things. Explore new powders. Okay, so next I would do my contour, my bronzer. And I don't know if I would do powder or cream because Google needs to tell me. So let's see. Should I put bronzer or contour? I'm gonna put bronzer. Well, no, because maybe that won't be... Okay, I'm gonna put contour. Let's see what comes up. Ooh, the Fenty ones. Okay, I have this. Okay, so these are like the Fenty matchsticks. And this one is called Cinnamon. It looks brown here, so... Oh, but this is shimmery. Oh, Google, why you gotta do this to me? Oh my god. God, Google has done me wrong. I'm pretty sure there must be a matte one, but this is the one. Oh, <laughs> wait, in the picture, does it look matte or does it look, what? It kind of looks shimmery in the picture though. Google, you do not know how to contour. We need to have some contour classes, Google, okay? Just, just, we need to have a little conversation right now. I'm just gonna do a very light contour because like, no, 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 no. Maybe if I just blend it out, you won't be able to tell it's all shimmery. I guess you could do it with this kind of shimmer. I, it just doesn't, no, I feel like I never do it like that. Well, Google's trying to get me to try new things, so good. Let me just go for it. I did like a very light thing. Woo! Oh lordy. I mean, it's weird because I never use like shimmer cream bronzer, but I do use shimmer powder, so... Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna Google powder bronzer after this and see so we can set it and hopefully it will be something that's matte. I mean, if not, I guess I'll just look like I went to the beach or something. I made my lights a little bit darker. So if it looks different to you, that's why. I think it was too light and nothing was popping up. Nothing of what I'm wearing on my face right now. So, okay, let's look up powder bronzer. Bron, I'm so bad at typing. Oh, that Lancome one. Oh my gosh, I had that one, but I don't have it anymore. I lost it when I moved. Okay, let's go on shopping and see. Physician's Formula. I don't have any of these. Ooh, this Milani baked bronzer I do have. This one. It's so good. Ooh, okay. But none of the bronzers I actually... I have a bunch of bronzers and none of them are here. Ooh, okay. Well, who I guess. Okay, I'm gonna try the Milani one. Okay, this is not a matte bronzer at all, but actually it's such a good bronzer. You guys have probably seen me use it a lot. It gives you like such a nice little glow. And I have shade 5, Soleil. Next up is blush. Oh, blushing is a rendering of a person's face due to psychological reasons. No, but I want makeup blush. Let's go on. Okay, shopping. Ooh, Milani. Milani blush and Nars Orgasm. Okay, that one I have right here. Nars Orgasm blush. I'm so happy that came up actually. I've been on the Nars Orgasm vibe. I've been really feeling the Nars Orgasm. I feel like this combination of this contour and this blush looks really good. Like this bronzer and this blush. Oh my gosh, I wonder what's gonna come up for my shadows. I hope it's not like this blue palette because I feel like it just doesn't go with what I did with my face. Eyeshadow primer is next. Elf Cosmetics Shadow Lock. I feel like I should have that. Let me go check. I got the second option, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is so strange. I don't know if Google is just suggesting these things because they're what I always use or if it's just like I always use them because they're really good and that's why Google suggests them. I don't know. I don't know if they're just tapped into my phone. I mean, you guys know that happens whenever you're like talking about something and then Google or Facebook or something like an app will pop up and you're like, what, what? Guys, you know we're being watched. So I was debating whether I should look for an eyeshadow palette or just for eyeshadow, but I think I'm gonna look for an eyeshadow palette just so I have the whole look already, just so I don't have to keep looking for different shadows and maybe I won't have them or, you know, whatever. Morphe! I can't believe Morphe is what pops up first. Oh, wow, okay. So it's the Jaclyn palette. I have a Morphe palette. And this is the palette that I have. I've actually never used it before. I know you guys would be so confused. Like, how do you make YouTube videos and you don't have a Morphe coat or something? Oh, this palette's really pretty. I'm really happy the colors that came <laughs> in this palette are just like really very much like neutral colors. I'm really attracted to this side right here. I'm gonna do something with this. Okay, so since this is my first time ever using this palette, I don't know how it behaves. I don't know if it's fallout. So I'm actually a bit nervous. Hmm. I'm going to first take this like orange 
orange color. Let's see how that goes. Gonna use, oh, okay, okay, Morphe. This went on really smooth. Went on really pigmented, I just kind of like slid onto my lip. It's not as bright orange, which I thought and kind of hoped for because I wanted it to be more of a fiery look, but not just like super orange kind of theme park. I don't know, not, not like that, just good, you know, nice. Well, I really like that. So now I'm gonna go in with this really like copper but shiny shade Ooh, i'm gonna go in to this part that i don't have any color on it more like the inner corner Ooh, this is cute i know i'm like the last person <laughs> to get on the morphe train this is really cute just kind of blending this in there i don't want it to be all over the lid because i want to add another color this is super cute guys i didn't know how dark of an eye look i was gonna do so i didn't know if i should do my eyes first or my foundation first but i think it's blending out fine i don't really see fallout so we're doing all right we're doing all right here so i'm kind of wiping that brush and now i'm gonna take this next color which is more like a wine color and it's for sure less shimmery it has like a bit of a bit of shimmer but not, not as much as the one before i love it I think it's really cute. Okay, so Google knows what it's doing with its shadow and its shadow palettes. And this one isn't even like the actual suggestion. This is just a random Morphe palette. Okay, so I'm doing the bottom and I'm just kind of mixing this really shimmery shade. I'm gonna mix it with that orange. And the brush I'm using is kind of fluffy, but oh, oh, God, oh, oh, God, oh, God. It's fluffy, but pointy at the same time. So it helps me get in there and blend all at the same time. And you guys know I like doing my makeup really fast. I won't spend like a whole hour on an eye look. I just, I can't, I don't know. I like it to be like cute, but quick, you know? So I was gonna mix with the orange, but now I just thought that I'm gonna actually use this brown just to give it a bit more of a, just a bit more of deepness and clean it up a little bit more. I feel like I'm going for something that's a little bit more grungy. It's clean, but where you want it to look like not so clean or like dirty, but almost on purpose. Okay, I think this look for sure needs some liner. Oh my gosh, Google, please give me a good liner. Okay, I wrote eyeliner. Yeah, I mean eyeliner. Okay, nothing comes up. Shopping. It's giving me options like pencil, liquid, gel. Maybe if I go with pencil, it'll tell me something more like specific. Okay, Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I don't have any Rimmel. NYX Professional Makeup. I wonder if I have a NYX liner. I would really have to check. But these are all black liners. So I think, yeah, what's important is for it to be black. All of these are black liners. All right, here we are. NYX black liner i actually feel like this look would go better with brown liner so not black i'm just gonna add a bit right up on my lash line but upper i'm not gonna do anything on the lower i feel if i do anything on the lower it will look too grungy just kind of pulling it a little just so that it comes up and i can just really get in there now for brows i don't even know what to write do i just write brows i'm gonna write eyebrows Brow makeup. Eyebrow makeup. I don't know if that even makes sense. <laughs> I also put a dot in the middle by accident. What? What is this? I don't get this. Eyebrow makeup. Okay, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to be writing. Shopping. Ooh, Glossier. Tarte Anastasia. That's what I used to use all the time on my brows. Um, Milani Kiss Brow Stamp. Ulta Brow Tint. Ardell. All May. I think. Oh, benefit. Benefit. I do have. Let me, I have to go check. Oh, there's so many, so many brands that are recommended here. Okay, you guys. So I don't know if Google and I just don't agree on brow stuff. I have so many brow products and none of them are from any of those brands that Google recommended. I found one Tarte thing, but it's a tinted brow gel. And it's seriously, I think this is meant for blondes. It's like very light brown. So I'm not sure. Oh, well, let me see. This is actually working somewhat. It's filling my brow in, but I still feel like it's making them too light for my really dark hair. So I'm actually gonna use good old Benefit. Most of the brow products I own are Benefit. I really like their brow products. And this was in the recommended stuff, but it was really down the line. Whoa, Google coming through with the recommendations. Although this was not what they rec <laughs> This was not what they recommended at all. Hmm, this brow's not looking half bad. Okay, it looks a lot better with some brow stuff. So I'm actually gonna use the same one on this other brow because if not, that would look so weird. I hope my brows don't photograph orange or something because this really is a really, it's called rich brown and that's not the color of my brows at all. I don't know. I feel like these brows are a bit much. Whoa, I need lashes ASAP now. Help. So I typed to mascara. Let's see what comes out. Ooh, Colossal by Maybelline. Back at it, you guys. Okay. 
here I have it. I'm not super happy about this. I feel like, I don't know, this mascara I used to love so much years ago, but now I just feel like it's a little bit clumpy on my lashes. So I have to really make sure I remove any excess mascara. And I'm just gonna coat my lashes. Okay, these are not super clumpy, so it's good. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes too. I'm not even gonna pick up any more product because seriously, if you have a lot of this product, it could be a lot, like a lot. Okay, here's the lashes, you guys. I'm seriously the worst. How did I even forget about highlight? I don't even know. And I have this idea. I don't know why, but I think that Kubo is gonna suggest Becca. Because I feel like Becca is just so known for their highlighters. So let's see. Should we bet? Should we take bets? Let's bet. I think they're gonna suggest Becca. So let's go. Highlighter. What? Maybelline? And Morphe brushes. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so happy. Maybelline Masochrome. This is like my favorite highlighter. I have it right, oh, right here. Right here. It's been used till the death. Okay, so I lost my bet. What happens now that I lost? They really didn't suggest Becca? That is so strange to me. No, I mean, they probably only suggested Maybelline because you guys know Maybelline and Google. They're in cahoots. Cahoots. Okay, so they suggest Anastasia, Elf, and Becca. I feel like Becca will probably be higher up. Maybe they just didn't pay Google enough. So I like to use some setting spray before my highlight. So setting spray. Urban Decay! Okay, okay. That's also what I use. My all lighter from Urban Decay. I was kind of hoping for that one. <laughs> I just like to use a little bit of setting spray, not too much, you know. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my highlight. I don't usually use this brush, but it's the one I could find really fast. And you don't want to let your setting spray dry. You want it to be a little bit damp when you put the highlight on. Let me switch brushes real fast. Now, I need some lipstick. I literally have no idea what lipstick would pop up. So let's see. Let's see what Google thinks. I'm trying to decide. I feel like I will go for a dark lip with this look. I feel like it needs it. It needs that extra pop. Lipstick. KKW. Aw, really? No. So disappointed by that. It's suggesting that or angel tears, which are really like very... No. Okay, I have to take a stand right now, Google. I'm sorry. I like your third suggestion the most. And it's Maybelline Super Stay. Maybelline again. And this is a Super Stay, and the one that pops up is like a red. So I think that would look good. I'm gonna try and see. I don't know. Okay, so I think it's kind of like this. Maybe a little bit more reddish. I think it's a color similar to this one. So yeah, this is a beautiful color. Ooh, I love this color. It's number 50, Vo Voyager, Voyager. <laughs> I can't even say that word. Ooh! Oh, I love how this looks. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. I love it with this lip. I feel like I might even, like, if I could decide without Google, I would put a really glossy gloss over it. I think it would look so cool. But I really like this look. I have to say, Google was not a bad partner to help me with my makeup. But yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? I really like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like looking at it with love. I can't wait to read all of your comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.